я могу их больше передать. Определенно тебе передать деньги, я уже не А улетел куда да? А, нет, не вижу, что ли. Смотри, как он любит. Там где я буду
всех один нужен. Bill Gerstenmeyer, the Associate Administrator for Human Exploration. Bill, um, 18 years since first element launch from this very complex, two launches wrapped around a landing in a four-week period. What does that tell you about how far this program has come in almost two decades? Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. When, when I think back to the beginning of Space Station and then think of all the elements and all the work that's come together to end up with this wonderful space station on orbit, and then to see this pace of this uh, two launches and the landing in this very short period of time here in, in Kazakhstan is just absolutely amazing. And the teams are really focused. They're really working hard behind the scenes to make make a really you know difficult and demanding set of work really effective. And, and I just can't say enough for the partnership and the teams and the folks that are coming together to make all this happen. Peggy Whitson hardly needs any introduction to human spaceflight, an iconic figure in her own right. She's flying again. What does she bring to the table here over the next six months of, of what will be a very challenging pair of increments? Yeah, again, we have a lot of activity in front of us. You know, we're going to do the, the HTV launch and the battery changeout. Uh, Peggy will play a key role in that. There's a lot of research and science going on board station, so a lot of activity for her to, to really get uh, up to speed and, and start doing work. So we're looking forward to having Peggy and her crew on orbit to, to get the crew size up to six and to really, really start showing what this facility can do in terms of research potential for every one of us here on the Earth. Kirk Shireman, the ISS program manager. Kirk, uh, it's hard to believe, but uh, we're wrapping a second launch around a landing within a four-week period. What does this say about uh, the Russians' preparation for all of this, plus the impact it has in promoting uh, the program and keeping everything going? Well, it's, it's really important to execute what we've been, uh, what we set up, and uh, we really need to have this crew on orbit to uh, accomplish all our research. So we're we're very happy that they're uh, they're launching here. The fact that we've had uh, two launches and a landing here in the last month is just fantastic. A very uh, very experienced team, excellent team. They work very well together, and uh, and we're happy to be part of it. Let's talk about the partnership for a second. Wrapping up almost two decades since first element launch, 50 expeditions into this program now. Uh, your thoughts on uh, where we've come in the last 18 years or so? Yeah, it's just amazing. Of course, we just celebrated our 16th anniversary of human habitation on November 2nd. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be here on uh, November 20th, 1998, when uh, the FGV Zarya was launched uh, from uh, from right here, is a few miles away on the Cosmodrome. It's just amazing to think back all the things that have occurred, all the flights, all the assembly, all the research that's come that's gone on, and now we're celebrating the 50th expedition on board ISS. So, truly, an amazing time. Uh, we're very uh, very excited about what this cruise going to be doing on orbit, a full a full suite of uh, experiments. They have uh, over 300 experiments to do, 89 of which are brand new, have never been done on ISS, and so we're looking forward to uh, celebrating many more years on orbit. On the uh, so we're in Baikonur, when we see all these people working together from different, we have the Kazakh, the Russian, the American flag, but also the French flag. We are European Space Agency. What does it mean, all these people working together in a time where tensions in the world are growing? Well, I think it's very important if as astronauts you fly to the space station, you, you look to our planet and you see that there are no borders. Uh, and so it uh, very clearly shows here as well that uh, despite all the difficulties that we have on our planet, people still come together and can work together and can achieve great things. And I think it should be an example for everybody on this planet. Also. Yes, uh, we are all part of, a, of an international endeavor for the peaceful future of, of uh, humankind. And space is an excellent place to work together, to find solutions to problems together, and to prepare for the future together.